hello stylers welcome back to the full style ink channel for another video my name is nadia and i am the creator and founder of full style ink so today's so today's video is going to be as promised what i made in january february and march of 2022 last year i did my wrap up of what i made well a few months ago i did my wrap up of what i made in 2021 and i promised and my sewing goals for 2022 that I would do a quarterly wrap up of what I made. Yeah, now y'all, this is gonna be, as you can see, this is gonna be a short video because I didn't do a lot of sewing. <laughs> I did not do a lot of sewing for myself personally for multiple reasons. So I'm gonna get into my very short, <laughs> my very short wrap up review here huh, i'm trying to see how should i start looking at this and i'm like i know i had to sew something else i know february i really didn't sew anything and i'm trying to think what did i do in january because i feel like all of this was sewn in march i'm trying to figure out what happened in january what what was i doing in january <laughs> So, anywho, I'm going to start. First thing first is this beautiful cardigan. This beautiful cardigan used not only some fabric, this beautiful terry cloth stripe fabric from Mood, but also the Mood's cardigan pattern. I will leave the name in the link below. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. I purchased another of their fall mystery kits and this fabric was included in it so I made this beautiful cardigan um she's 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 so fun I've already worn her I want to wear her a few more times before it gets too warm she is soft again I had a bit of the issue with moods pattern this one came to attaching the cuff to the sleeve I don't I don't it's, it's, it's too, so this was difficult um i will rate her a 3.5 out 3 3.5 out of 5 dresses so 3.5 out of 5 stars i love her she's versatile i'm gonna get more use out of her um she's a very functional piece more for functionality than aesthetics um no i'm gonna redo that she gets a four she deserves a four and I love that it has pockets. I modified the pattern just a little bit um, because I wanted it to be a bit longer and I wanted the pockets to be a bit higher. The pockets was like real low and I, I don't know what that was about. So along with that cardigan, I had enough fabric left over to make me a sweatshirt. So I made me this cute little crop sweatshirt out of that fabric. I just did a mock-up i did not not a mock-up i did a um i pulled one of my favorite sweatshirts out and i just made a pattern and i used this fabric and i went ahead and did the fabric and turned it a different way so that the stripes on the sleeve go one way the stripes on the cloth go another way just to give it some fun and interest and this is going to be a great piece here in the spring as it starts to uh warm up just a little bit but it's still chilly this is going to be look good tucked inside of some of my favorite skirts as well as over some jeans and leggings next up is the one that i know you guys are all familiar with and are excited for me to talk about and it is this zia what is it is it zia zia blazer from mood once again using this beautiful purple lilac, like pinstripe material from Mood and using one of their patterns. Now, I've already slightly reviewed this pattern on my video of, of the vlog of me creating this. I love the fabric. I have more of the fabric and I'm going to make me some cute little shorts in the weeks to come that will go that pair well with this while the weather is still light crisp 
because the shorts gonna be real cute and this could be a nice little layering piece on top but i can say i'm about to buy a top not you know you, you get what i'm saying however making this was difficult because i did understand how to attach the lapel the collar all of it together and it has some major construction not major it has some slightly slightly major construction issues when it comes to lapel and everything um i do wish i could find a way to amend it maybe in the future i will find it i won't be making another blazer until the fall and i'm going to be using a one of the big three pattern big four big four sorry i've been watching a lot of this is us <laughs> one of the big four pattern companies to you to make my blazer to make sure that i know what i'm doing and so hopefully by doing that i can figure out what went wrong with her so i can fix her because these lapels should not be like that something something is wrong i've worn her two or three times i i'm going to love her like the rest and i'm going to love her just let her let alone the fact that she's a redhead except show i'm still going to love her because she's amazing and honestly this is my first blazer um i tried my best <laughs> i tried my best it didn't i, I it sucks but i tried my best lastly is this black satin slip skirts that i made on the fly on the whim i traced um a slip dress that i had um from rev dolls to create the pattern i made a mock-up i did this completely on my own because i really really wanted a black slip skirt and i've already worn it so i would list i would put that picture here i've already worn it and I just really want a black slip skirt. So I love the fit of this. I do have to tweak it a little bit more. But I already have other fabric on standby to make more. Some for the spring and the summer. Because this is just going to be a good good added addition to the wardrobe. I've always wanted a black slip skirt. And I have the fabric. I said Fowler's. That's legit all I made from January to March. And honestly, I'm okay with that. Now, I have ambitious goals for the spring and the summer. For the second and third quarter, I have ambitious goals. And I've already started. I wish I would have got my, I would have squeezed my coat into this. Because the fabric for my coat is already cut. And the interfacing is already pressed. And I need to start sewing on that soon. So, by the time this video goes up, hopefully I will be done with that. But, I wish I would have gotten into here, but you know, it's okay. It's all right. So I have ambitious goals for the spring and the summer, and I'm already starting. I have spring break coming up. I have three days off of work in two weeks. Yes. So two weeks from now, I get a, almost a week off of work because I have to, I work one day on Monday because I work at a daycare and they don't really get spring break. So anywho, I'm going to have a spring break and I'm going to spend Half of that time working on stuff for my um, boutique, coming out with the spring and summer collection, finishing all of my prototypes and getting those things together. And then I'm also going to be working on some of my personal sewing and stuff for YouTube. So yeah, I have a lot. So I hope you guys are excited because I know I am and I hope to see you guys soon.